using the list. The lists are the jumping point to all the records in all orders. For example, if you are looking for a customer, you would start off with the customer list. The icons on the home screen or toolbar that have a small checkbox are lists. You can also get to all the lists from the list menu. There are four main entities, items, customers, vendors, and locations. All Orders also maintains lists specific to sales, purchasing, production, and warehousing. Finally, the profile lists are tables of secondary data that provide supplemental information to support your lists and transactions. In All Orders, there are two types of lists. There's table style list and profile list. The table style list are used for the primary entities like item, customer, and vendor, and also used for all the transaction types like sales orders and purchase orders. On the bottom of the list menu, you will see the profile list. The profile lists are entities that are set up occasionally and are used to support the primary entities and transactions, for example, item group and sales rep. Working with lists, the table style lists all work in the same way. Finding information in a particular field is quick and straightforward. Above each list, you'll find a special search bar. Simply click the bar just above the field you wish to search on and start typing. All orders will take you to the first matching record for the string you've entered. To open a record, just double click it. You'll be taken to the appropriate form with the records field already filled in. These can be altered at will. And for the four main entities, you'll also see a special blue info icon for each record that looks like this. So double click on this icon to view a comprehensive information screen which comprises of the complete history for the record in question. On the customer info screen, for example, you'll be able to see every sales order the customer has ever placed, the quotes, returns, any information about that customer. Records can be sorted according to a column by clicking on that column. You can set a filter on a particular field by clicking the small arrow on the right hand side of one of the columns. It allows you to filter out blank fields or filter to view only blank fields. A list of current field values will be displayed. In the example, if I were to select commercial, then only those items with the customer type would show up in this list. Notice that you also have a filter for text field at the bottom. This is handy for selecting multiple values and is particularly handy filtering numerical fields. It uses the symbols greater than, less than, equal to, and etc. Note that you can also use the wildcard character to help target your searches. For example, if you're trying to recall a customer and you know that his name is Kirby, you can enter star Kirby to bring all the Kirby's up in your customer list. Any set filters can be cleared by choosing Clear Filter from the Current Tabs List drop-down menu, or by choosing All from the Filter menu, or simply click the X to the bottom of the left of the screen. You can see what filters are in place at the bottom of the application window just above the status bar as well. And if you don't clear the filter, then the filter will be saved when you close the list. Keep in mind that each list has its own toolbar to help you manipulate your list information, change the aesthetics, etc. Help button, list, this menu allows you to customize your view by selecting the fields you want viewable. You can select records, delete them, choose between a flat or a hierarchical view of your data, and add the record to a document. Customize. This drop-down menu allows you to make aesthetic changes to your current list. You can change things like your font or set alternating row colors. Print. Allows you to make a printout of your records. Refresh. Reloads the current list. And Close. Closes the current list.